a sports night to remember in St. Louis, Missouri. As the gateway to the West hosts the World Series and Monday Night Football on the same night. Here at the Edward Jones Dome, welcome the leaders of the West, Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. He'll be chased tonight by Chris Long and the defense of the St. Louis Rams. Third and six. For Clemens, got rid of it quick. It's caught for the first down by Austin Pettis. Great get off from that right defensive end spot. Clemens got rid of it towards Austin. And also had Cook the tight end running in the way, but at Earl Thomas. Third and five, Doug Baldwin, the third receiver is in. Wilson is in trouble and is sacked by Quinn. So two tackles for loss by Robert Quinn, the third year man, first round pick. Some juice out of their first round pick. High twisting kick, but a short one. Is a smart play to catch a 37-yard punt. Oh, Quickly in the hands of Austin. Look out as Browner immediately snuffed it. And that's where John Schneider, the GM, and Pete Carroll got him from. Third and nine. Clemens. Nobody open downfield. He buys time, and it is caught by Pettis. Good job by Pettis to work with his quarterback. Second and 10, a screen set up for Stacy and the one man who was there, K.J. Wright, from 33. And the first points of the game belong to the double-digit underdog Rams. So when on the phone is the conversation about getting Davis here, of course you ask about what Farb's up to. Zach Stacy the carry. And the rookie has a first down with a hard run. They're carrying a row and a space for Stacy who's tripped up tackle he's coming back from an injury they're limiting his time now they protect as Clemens fires and it's intercepted Bruce Irvin comes away with a pick for the Seahawks and Irvin's out of bounds at the 30 yard line so the first mistake of the game turns into an interception his first career interception best field position for the Seahawks but Wilson is brought down for the second time tonight that's William Hayes is their poorest offensive quarter in the first quarter in the last 93 games. So a very slow start. Robert Turbin is the back and takes the screen from Wilson. Got a good block and propels. Third and six, the Rams bring five. Long came on block. Wilson buying time and just gets rid of it. Third and three for Kellen Clemens. Steps up. Wasn't open, tries to move forward and gets the first down. On first and ten. There is the toss. Richardson gets to the edge and has a first down across. The 41. Good move up the middle by Zach Stacy. I like the way the third rounder out of West Virginia. Trying to get adjusted to an NFL offense. Clemens throw is intercepted. Run right into the hands of Richard Sherman. Who's picking up blockers as he gets across midfield. And Sherman with a good block by Chancellor. Pushed out by Clemens at the 25-yard line. I Interception think, number four for Sherman. Excuse me, I think he's open again. I thought Pettis was open. Aren't on the same page with their backup quarterback. It's understandable. Marshawn Lynch back in the game now. Run by Wilson. A lot of room for Russell inside the 10. First and goal for the Seahawks. And it's kept by Wilson towards the edge and stopped for him. And again, it's Wilson keeping towards the edge. He is tripped up. Outstanding defense with the goal line here. Marshawn Lynch can't believe it. First and goal at the one. And you're going to run back to back bootlegs. We just criticized Chris Long earlier for not containing the boot. This time he gets help from his safety man, number 23, Rodney McLeod. I am shocked they choose to run Russell Wilson back-to-back -back plays at the one-yard line with Marshawn Lynch. Third and goal. Slant, Tate, did he break the plane? Yes, ruled a touchdown for Golden Tate as he was able to break the plane. Crossing in front of the DB. Paying 
attention at the snap and just gave Tate that half second plus the time and the space in the tight window to score the touchdown. Multiple turnovers again. They've done it in all eight games now this year. Jack Stacy's had effective runs. Did a nice job to make the first man miss. And that's here in his third and eight. Tough snap. Clemens has it. Trying to just survive the play. And it'll be fourth down. But his cap hit is $681,000. It's nothing. It's less than 1% of your salary cap. What does that do? It allows you to build. It allows you to go out and sign people because it's not just Wilson. It stars like Sherman and Browner, these Legion of Doom guys. When you hit in the draft, you can have eight starters who make up less than 5% of your cap that line at the bottom. Wilson hit as he throws. Tate couldn't hang on. Incomplete. Low snap. Picked up, pressure up the middle on the stunt. It is Quinn, who has been the star of this first half. The mighty Quinn is ridiculous. And Seattle can't block him. Clock continues to run on the sack. No oh timeouts. Boy. Wilson is chased and sacked again by Quinn. Ten sacks in the first eight games of the season by Quinn. And they continue to crowd the box. Third and two for Russell Wilson. And another sack, this one, for Chris Long. Nobody blocked him. Third and five, Seahawks bringing pressure. Clemens got rid of it, and it's dropped. Jared Cook. Rams are forcing the Seahawks to play very safe on all of these punt situations. And Johnny Hecker does an outstanding job of forces Wilson and the Seahawks to start their own eight. His own end zone hit trouble, and Wilson tries to bring the ball all the way back out to prevent the safety, and they will just back to the one-yard line. Third and 17, Marshawn Lynch on the run. Shy of the 10. The 48, Zach Stacy, one of those young players. Hey! Since opening day. Third in the yard, it's Stacy again, left side, tough run, got it. The 30-year-old, eight-year veteran Clemens. Trying to get away from McDaniels, the rushing, Clemens keeps it, takes a vicious hit from Earl Thomas. He'll kick it from 28, Zerline knocks it through. 49ers and Cardinals with wins, so the winner tonight will make it three wins uh, in the division for the NFC West. Again, Seahawks playing without Sidney Rice, who injured his knee in the first half. Wilson on the fake. Throwing downfield for Golden Tate. Great in the air. It's Tate. Took it from Jenkins. Taunting on his way to the end zone. Flag is down as he scores the touchdown. Norris Jenkins can't believe. Two deep zone and Tate releases to the outside of Janoris Jenkins who has great ball skills just misjudged it. I have no idea what Golden Tate is doing there. It's an 80 yard score. The, the touchdown flag counts. We will not erase the, the score. The unsportsmanlike taunt on offense number 81 will be a 15 yard foul enforced on the kickoff. From the 37, Clemens going back to the air second time. This one is caught into Seattle territory. And on the reverse. Space for Gibbons. Here the Seahawks lead by eight. The Rams are driving, trying to get closer with the backup quarterback, Kellen Clemens. Throw over the middle is caught by the tight end, Cook, who gets it to the six. That's why the flag thrown. Interesting to decline the penalty, not give him two shots. Third and goal. Clemens is sacked. Yeah. Runs right into the nickelback, Walter Thurman. The holder, Johnny Hecker. 14 to nine. Who's been outstanding tonight? Quinn had three sacks in the first half. Third and five. Slant is dropped. Curse couldn't hang on. Try to use Cook's body to give him space. Austin's open. He's got it. He's got a first down. Third and seven, St. Louis. Quick toss, Bradford. No reaction to it by right. Cook. Booming leg. It's drifting right. No good. Seahawks leading by five. Wilson, I don't know if he had the laces on that. He just took it and threw it to Baldwin. Can get into a small window on third and seven. 
Wilson in trouble. Sacked again. Chris Long. Chris Long and Robert Quinn. Rare night on the big stage, and they have been big time. Rare night. Two players with three sacks, both Long and Quinn. Another tumbler by Ryan, giving Austin a limited chance to return it, and a great bounce. What a job by John Ryan. Take it all the way down. As they wait to get Russell Okung and Reno Giacomini back later this season. Zach Stacy running from the three, running to the 12. Eight of eight officially for Stacy. Nice cutback. Boy, he's run well tonight. Zach Stacy. Most yards since. Heavy carry night. He's shaken up. Kelly Clemens with time. Shot in the middle for Givens. Chris Givens. Clemens checking to Richardson. Darrell Richardson. There's the play action, John. Looking to Lance Kendricks. Caught it. The 21 yard line as we close in on the two minute warning. Drive started at the three. Richardson, 10. Richardson to the six. First and goal. 77 seconds left of the final 44 seconds. It is Clemens. Rowley. Clemens. Rowley. End zone incomplete. Second and goal. Richardson at the five. Richardson at the three. Bounded hard by Earl Thomas. Third and goal, Kellen Clemens with a jump, throws, it is off the hands of Gibbons, and incomplete. Again, you had the jump on the edge by Chris Clemens. It'll be an offside. Richardson in there, Harkey leading the way. It's Richardson, left side, he is crushed and stopped. There'll be one play left. Is that Heath Farwell, who's the captain on this team, a special teamer? There's Farwell, 55, he steps up, flush tackle. You see Earl Thomas. Fourth and goal. Empty backfield. Clemens pressure. Puts it up. Not even close. Incomplete. Ball game over. And the Seahawks survive.